Do you love me? <laughs> this is how to create simple, classy outfits for all your summer vacations, cruise, resort, or just a weekend getaway. These are the looks that are gonna have everyone thinking, how does she do that? I reuse many of the same pieces in multiple outfits to give you the most bang for your buck and easy packing. Although they look expensive, they're not. In this video, I'm sharing classy vacation looks that are simple to nail, simple to wear. Best of all, we can all do them. Hi ladies, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Shelly Pelly, and I'm a lifelong style and beauty connoisseur who has traveled the world extensively. Over time, I've learned the secret formula to creating classy, effortless vacation looks, and that's what I'm sharing with you today. Let's dive right in. There's a time for gorgeous bedazzled outfits. Summer vacation ain't it, y'all. Instead, we want to create a vacation wardrobe that reflects the way we want to feel. Breezy, relaxed, and effortlessly chic. To do that, I start with a foundation of one-piece dressing items. Think maxis, sundresses, rompers, in neutral, solid colors. This allows me to build a number of looks from just one simple piece. I'm starting with a black maxi this is something that I might wear into town for the day or for a polished casual evening. This is a cotton maxi dress, $178 from Anthropology, standard petite and plus sizes. This is an incredibly flattering style, y'all. The banded waist hits right underneath the bust, emphasizing the smallest part of every woman's body. While this gives the look of a cinched in waist, the best part is that the back is smocked, meaning it gives lots of flexibility, give and comfort. First, I paired it with jute, wedges and a nude bag. This is something I'd wear to an early casual dinner. Then I just polished it off with these beautiful marbled hoops, Lizzie Fortunato. These are really pretty. A simple gold chain and I'm done. Look number two is classic clean black and white. We love that. Remember I talked about that in my Olivia Palermo video. I added a white mule with a very low block heel. I know a lot of you ladies don't like a higher heel. A white small hobo. To give it a little more personality, I added a vibrant green earring. You can add any color that you like and I tied it in with these glamorous oversized sunglasses and I think this looks great. Using the same white mules, I added a white leather obi belt and swapped in a pair of movie star black sunglasses. Style tip, I always take two pair of sunglasses, a black and a neutral. Packing an extra pair practically takes zero space. Having a black and a neutral gives me a little more flexibility and these two colors go with anything that you're wearing. A day lounging and luxuriating poolside is only made better with a warm, balmy evening, dining al fresco, glass of champagne, ceviche, but what to wear? Hmm. Aha. This gorgeous, juicy, tropical punch, high-low wrap maxi dress from Anthropology. This came in petite and plus sizes. I am wearing a petite right out of the box and you can see that it fits me perfectly. No hemming involved. We like that. High-low is one of my favorite silhouettes, especially for summer. It gives just a hint of a nice tanned leg with a sweeping back for a nice classy finish. Since I want the dress to be the focal point with its beautiful, vibrant color, I chose a nude shoe so that it says non distracting as possible. I add in this hot pink clutch, a pair of white gold chandelier earrings. Ladies, this clutch is by the Attico and although it's beautiful, it's very awkward. It's incredibly difficult to hold and it was way too expensive. I am showing you a better option with this simple clutch, gorgeous color, $52, packs easily. I love this dress with a statement turquoise earring. Look how stunning this is. These earrings are by Kendra Scott, only $60. Can't beat that with the stick. I made it a little beachier with this Colt Gaia bag that you've probably seen everywhere, $108, and I love this look. Not only are you packing less, but one-piece dressing is an easy way to look effortless and chic in one fell swoop. There are several options for daytime depending on your mood. Shorts, pants, sundress, or just a bikini and SPF. This is something that I would wear going into brunch or into town. It's effortless, understated glam, underscored by a tasteful monochromatic look. I'm wearing a lightweight bungee pant. That's what they're calling it. This is from Anthropology. Also came in petites, which is what I'm wearing. With a drawstring waist, it couldn't be easier. Keeping the monochromatic vibe. You guys are gonna love this. I added this lightweight V-neck, $18.00 very nice quality, millions of colors. If you like the style, it is a no-brainer basic for spring and summer. To keep the understated glam vibe, a pair of barely there metallic
metallic flat sandals, which you'll see again and again in this video. Ladies, if there's one piece that I highly recommend for summer and spring, it's a sandal like this. I call it a barely there nude sandal because it almost looks like you're barefoot, but of course you're not. It gives your leg a nice, long, lengthening appearance. And when you can't figure out what shoe you're going to wear or any shoe you put on seems to just look clunky, this is the one you're going to reach for time and time again. Same pants, different look. Say you're out for the day walking around town, having lunch at an outdoor cafe, doing a little bit of shopping. You're really not up for a full costume change to go to dinner, but you still kind of want to freshen up. Keeping the same pant, I swapped out the brown sweater for the same style in black, $18, and I exchanged my flat sandals for a raffia kitten heel and a coordinating raffia bag. This one is by Eric Javits. It's a little bit pricey, but it's so summer and it's so chic in a neutral classic color. I wanted to share it with you in the event that you liked it. I kept the same gold hoops and added the same gold chain that you saw in the beginning. A bronzy lip, a touch of shimmer in the middle of my eyelid, boom. Another easy daytime look, this Anthropology maxi skirt, ladies. Wait a minute, this is as stretchy as your favorite pair of leggings. I'm showing you on the side here. Listen, I was doing squats and I was kicking my leg. It's really, really comfortable. The same black $18 tank, the same gold hoops. I added these super comfy black slides from Rome. Oh my God, if they made them in more colors, I would buy them. The same tote that I showed you earlier. We like double duty and that's what you will see throughout this video. Tip. Although my outfits look very glamorous, they look expensive, what you'll notice is that my packing game is very simple and it's very affordable. There are four things I do that are super simple. One, I pack mainly solid neutrals with a couple of bright colors thrown in, like you saw my maxi dress. Neutrals allow me to mix and match on the fly without really thinking about it because I'm confident that everything is going to go with each other. Two, I throw in a few pattern pieces and dual toned accessories, also in neutral colors to elevate elevate the basics. Three, I limit it to two pairs of sunglasses, a black and a neutral. Works with everything, gives movie star quality. We like that. Finally, number four, minimal jewelry. I mean, we're on vacation, right? I wear gold hoops all the time, so I know that's my go-to. Then I bring one or two fun pairs for nighttime. Billowy, relaxed, and effortless is the name of the game. Remember, we want our vacation wardrobe to reflect the way we want to feel while we're on vacation. A palazzo pant and a dramatic print is an easy go to for immediate, understated chic. Here I'm wearing billowy palazzo pants from Anthropology, $60. These are a steal, you guys. Nipped it at the waist, billowing out into a nice breezy palazzo. Barely there, nude sandals to pick up the style factor. And a sun hat from Eric Javits. Again, using that neutral color palette. I'm wearing a knit tank from Vince. It is no longer available, but I found better options for you at better prices. Both are lightweight, high quality knits in a beautiful champagne or light terracotta. Get the one that most flatters your skin tone. That's the one that's going to work. And that's it. Drop mic. <laughs> Tall, short, skinny, chubby. It don't matter, girl. I call this the flattering on every body maxi. Here's why. First and foremost, the straps are wide enough that you can wear your regular bra. None of that strapless weird stuff going on. Two, the top is smocked. Oh, I have it here. It's nice and stretchy. Hee <laughs> hee. It's got a nice gentle scoop neck, so it's very flattering, but if you're busty like I am, it's also giving you nice coverage so you don't feel like your boobs are hanging out. We only like that when we mean to do it on purpose. The top terminates a couple inches above the belly button, allowing the skirt to float effortlessly over the tummy area, hiding any lumps and bumps that you may want to camouflage. It's a nice full skirt, so it'll fit most every body. If you're petite like me at five foot two, no hemming involved. This is just right out of the box, and you can see that it fits me perfectly. Best of all, oh, you're gonna love this. Wait for it, wait for it. 28 to $32, depending on the color. Do you love me? <laughs> this is an incredibly versatile piece. Easily transitions from day to vacation style evening by swapping out flat sandals and a sun hat for a wedge, a pair of statement earrings, and a pretty lip. Done. There are so many colors, I couldn't fit all of them on one page. You will not regret it. Shorts, of course, are a classic vacation must, but to wear them and still keep a classy vibe, I stick to two general rules. Wear the length that you are most comfortable with and that you feel flatters your body the most, regardless of what's in style. Number two, if like me, you prefer a shorter short, just make sure that the short is a very relaxed 
fit. That's gonna give you nice balance, especially if you wanna wear a wedge. I don't care how banging your body, a short, tight short is not attractive. It's just tacky. We don't need to do that, right? If you love a longer short, I found a trouser short at Spanx and I think you'll love it. Four-way stretch made of premium Ponte fabric. It's a comfortable pull-on design for a very sleek, streamlined look. Gold button detailing at the waistband and machine wash. We don't want any dry cleaning on vacation. That sucks. It's designed to shape your core, lift your butt, and make you look even better than you already do, if that's even possible. For my ladies who like a bit more arm coverage, I found this beautiful tropical pink button down with cap sleeves, so it's gonna grace nicely over your shoulders. This is such a clean, classic look, and I just polished it off with our beautiful turquoise earring, the flat, and our cult Gaia bag. I think this looks amazing. Now, knowing what to wear is great, but just as important is knowing what not to wear on vacation or to a luxury resort. So be sure to check out my next video, what not to wear to a five-star resort, and I'll walk you through all the do's and don'ts of resort style attire. And until next time, y'all take care and safe travel.